and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm here today with another brand new tutorial for all of my YouTube watchers. And if you're just someone browsing around, or if you're a, a loyal um, channel viewer, this is another GIMP tutorial. And I haven't, I haven't made a GIMP tutorial in a while, but we're back with a GIMP tutorial. And today, today is something actually it's very interesting. Uh, this is commonly used in many. Many of photo editing companies, many photo editing companies do this. In fact, when you have your picture taken, I think some some of them even ask you if you want them to do it for you. But I'm basically going to be teaching you how to get rid of any um, anything on your face that you don't want, such as uh, acne, scars, um, anything basically on your face that you, that you want to take out. Um, I'm teaching you how to do that. And I found this picture on Google. This is the exact picture that I found on Google. So we're teaching you how to use the clone stamp tool today, the smudge tool, and the blur tool. So these three tools we're going to be teaching you how to use today and teaching you how to get rid of facial flaws, if you want to call them that. So first thing we want to do is you want to open up your image and then you want to zoom in to to the area. So this is this is the area right here. We want to get rid of this. Now ignore the circle that that was from Google. So whatever. The first thing you want to do is you want to use the clone stamp tool. Now you can do this several ways. You can use the clone stamp tool. You can use the smudge tool, or you can use the blur tool. What I like to do is I like to use the um, clone stamp tool first, and we're gonna make this a little smaller. We're gonna make this size about ten. Actually, did it make it size ten? No. I want to make it even smaller. Let's make it size. Seven. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to you want to find find a place around where the clean skin is, and then you're gonna press Control, and then you click anywhere you want. And basically, what the clone stamp tool does, once you click anywhere, you can let go, and you'll see a circle is right there. What that means is that it's going to copy that area to wherever you drag your mouse now. As you can see, we are basically copying the skin right there onto the parts we don't want. Slowly but surely, you'll see that this looks normal. Now I'm going to show you how to fix these uh, these um, noticeable differences here. And if you want, you can do this one too. Now you want you want to uh, let go and restart every now and then because you want to make sure that you don't run over a past a past layer of cloning. So whenever you clone, you want to go and do a little bit and then let go and then continue and that's basically it for the clone stamp tool so after the clone stamp tool you want to go use your smudge tool now the reason why I use the smudge tool is because you see all this stuff here right here right there is, is a lot of um you can tell that the clone stamp tool was used here so what we do is we use the smudge tool and we lightly smudge it all together to make it look even because this doesn't look very natural right now so you want to just go around the area go around the area that you use the clone stamp tool on and just slide it in so it looks natural like that and you keep sliding it in to the center you can pretty much smudge from anywhere to make it look natural so there you go and then for the for the blur tool you can blur it too for example like this thing right here you can blur it in a little bit and 
instead of using the clone stamp tool you can just blur it and then after you blurred it you can use the smudge tool to smudge over it that's another way to do it so you don't need to use the clone stamp tool you can use the blur tool and you can use the smudge tool but the smudge tool is going to be one of your one of your best friends here because it basically makes it look natural now, I don't want to do this one because it, 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 it's going to take longer but if we zoom out now it actually looks normal now obviously you might know the difference because obviously you're the one who, who did this but if I took more time on it I could make it look even more natural but any, any any average person who's looking at that would actually think it's normal so um, that's that's basically it that's how to use it that's how to um, make anything on your face that you don't want to go away you just use the uh, clone stamp tool smudge tool the blur tool now notice that with the with the uh, clone stamp tool you can do other things such as make three eyes so if you really wanted to you can um, actually make this a little bigger some people do this so if you wanted to you can actually click control click and then like that and you have another eye so basically that's how people make um, faces with multiple eyes they use the clone stamp tool and then they um, make it natural with the smudge tool so now you know how to get rid of stuff on your face and how to add stuff to your face so you might not want to add stuff for a real picture but you might want to take stuff away so that's basically it that's how to use the uh, clone stamp tool clone stamp tool basically just copies a part of a picture onto another picture or onto the same picture so whatever's in your circle here you're basically copying the smudge tool um, basically makes the coloration correct it basically smudges everything and if I did this right now you see the wall gets smudged into the hair that's what the smudge tool does and the blur tool well obviously that's what it says the blur makes it blurry so that's how you do it I think that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions for the tutorial you may always leave comments and if you subscribe you may subscribe as well and if you like this video, that'd be great. Uh, uh, I'd love to get some likes. And thank you for watching. This is GS Smart. I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.